Houston Live correspondent Lauren Kelly is down at Houston Tintype Studio with photographer Laura, Bo Laura Burlton. She's going to show us how to make what's called Tintype portraits. Hey, Lauren. Hey guys, I don't know, does the hat, does the hat make my head look small? Because it's very large. I'm going to show you what tintype photography actually is today. We are at the Houston Tintype Studio downtown. Take a look at some of Laura Burlton's beautiful pieces. She's an artist and she's been doing her thing, photography and other things for a while now. Seven years and five years on her own in this studio. You got to come and take a look inside of this studio because it's awesome. From black and white to bridal to children's whimsical photos. <laughs> this is the artiste herself. Hi, Laura. Hi. How's it going today? How are you? So tell everybody a little bit about what tintype photography is. All right. Tintype photography was invented in the 1850s. Okay. Um, so it's an antique photo process uh, that was done before film. Not like the ones that we see in the saloon, right? Mm, maybe. Kind of maybe, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, and I make all the chemistry myself for this. It okay. has to be, it can't be purchased. Okay. <laughs> so it's like collodion, ether, lots of other toxic stuff. You don't have to be a scientist, but you do have to be well-practiced in this field. Yeah, for sure. And there's a little care should go into it. Cyanide used to be used to fix Oh, cyanide. Too, so Probably yeah. not yeah. anymore. Not anymore, Okay, no. thank goodness. Yeah. All right. All right. You so this is the camera. Yeah. Okay, this is the camera we're going to be using. And we've already gotten our film ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit down for you. You're to take my photo and we're gonna see how this actually is gonna work Absolutely. okay so notice the big bright lights big bright lights are always fun with lighting so right okay miss Laura we're tell me when to you, smile we're gonna get you in focus okay and you're good awesome everything's upside down and backwards that's how old cameras work all right you ready for this I think so all right put the film in Okay, and I'm gonna count for you. Okay? One, two, three. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know how they've said like old time photos actually produce heat. That was so hot. I feel like I just had a, a hot flash right now. <laughs> right? Did it come out okay? Are I we gonna think do so. it? I think so. All right, so I'm gonna come back around here. I'm gonna go develop it. Laura just is gonna quick. go develop this. She's gonna go into the dark room because this type of film has to be done like totally legit in the dark process in the dark room. So she's gonna go over there. I wanna show you what a couple of these photos are gonna look like. You see this black and white? It's beautiful. It's a dark portrait. It's kind of out of focus, but that's kind of how things were back in the day. So we're taking an 1800s photo style and making it fully modern here at Ten Type Studios in downtown. So we're going to check back in with Laura. We're going to come back here in just a little bit and see what my photo looks like and make sure that my hat wasn't completely over my eyes in just a little bit. So hopefully my photo will come out as good as some of these and other ones that she's got on the wall. So Derek, Courtney, back Very to you cool, guys. Very cool, Lauren. It's interesting too. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that that flash yeah. emits so much heat. Okay, Lauren, as you mentioned, we're going to check so back in hot. with you a little later on in today's show so we can see the final okay. product. Very cool. As you saw earlier today on Houston Life, our correspondent Lauren Kelly got her portrait taken by photographer Laura Burlton. And in that time, they have been in the dark room getting the final product ready. Well, let's check back in with Lauren, who is standing by. We can't wait to see it. I'm, I'm trying to cool off a little bit from the heat of that flash because Laura warned me. She said it was going to be warm, but it was legit a hot flash I just got with that old time camera. But I'm so excited to see these results. We're here at Houston Tin Type Studio. It's downtown. Now, we're going to put this in to what? What is this going into? This is a fixer, which used to be cyanide, but I use something a little more modern now. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So we're going to see this develop literally right before our eyes. Okay, let's focus in and see. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. I'm used to taking my photos and printing them from a digital photo right. on my camera or my phone. I'm not used to actually seeing film and flashes in the dark room. Look at that, you guys. It's coming out so clear. I feel so knowledgeable knowing how they used to do it now in the 1800s. So that is what we call tin type photography, huh? Yes, ma'am. So you do this here at the studio, LauraBurlton.com for more information. You do kids, you do weddings. Kids, weddings, all, all the things. Stuff, all and the things. does everybody kind of come and set up uh, it right here in the studio? Yeah. 
Um, and I also shoot on location as well. So okay. Sometimes I'll do a tent type photo booth. Then. Oh, a tent type photo booth. That'd be yeah. a great wedding idea. Yeah. Or is that too much, too hard yeah. to bring? No. It's all, all the good. chemicals, the chemists <laughs> on the set. Yeah. Right, let's take a look one more time. I just want to show you what it went from. It, just a short amount of time. That's so cool. Where it was literally like five minutes. Yeah. And we came back and boom. Now, is that specifically the color it's always going to be? Do you do like a, a a black on black or a black on white only? What are generally the options? It's, generally, it's this color. So it's the substrate is black. So those are your blacks. And then the silver makes the light colors. On now, it, so. do you need to hang this up to dry or when we take it out, will it be ready to go? Um, I will take it out. I have to actually wash it for okay. a little bit. And then I um, put it on a hot plate to dry it, and then I varnish it. Hot plate, hot plate, hot flash, hot plate. Yep. Well, Laura All World, the <laughs> thank you so much. This has been such a great experience. Houston Tin Type Studio yeah. We're in downtown, lauraburleton.com. She's a pro, you guys. Come and have your picture yeah. taken. The hot flash is totally worth it. Derek and Courtney, I know you guys would love this. You gotta come so down cool to see it all develop guys. right in front of our eyes, and especially for the little ones who have no idea yes. what we're talking about when it talks about <laughs> developing film. It is an, a fantastic exactly. experience as well. It takes me back to my high school days. I took a photography class. Oh, yeah? Very yeah. nice. Maybe we should do a segment sometime. Lauren, uh, that is very, very cool, and that photo turned out very nicely as well. If you could just sign it and send oh, it our way, we'll you. hang oh, it up. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and for more info on Houston Tintype Studio, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv.